Four games in the shortest way of talking about it is a way of looking at things. It's a lens upon the world, a lens that filters complexity of what's going on. Other way of looking at it is just a map of you. If I were to say, hey, let's take a look at you. And I really kept expanding out, connecting everything to everything. What I would get is something like, you're a multi-dimensional something or other. And we're gonna roughly cut up those dimensions into these four big chunks so we can navigate and handle it. A tool in the sense of the problem is overwhelmed. The problem is accelerating complexity. Lots of ways to tackle it. Four Game Dynamics is a certain lens that looks at it in a certain way. It says, I'm gonna prioritize these dimensions and that allows me to feel like I've got a little bit more control and influence on the situation. And there's something very comforting and handy in that. It's got these different dimensions, basically, of what's going on that I think when you put your life navigation dashboard together, you want to sure you have. So this first one is deep game, your relationship with mystery. So that starting point of mystery, I think, is really important to four game dynamics. Because we start there and say, from this mystery, from this common sense of we really don't know, we're gonna to try to construct something useful. It turns out to be really helpful because you're framing everything that's gonna come in this kind of metaphoric common sense. Well, if it's kind of like a game, certain other things are kind of implicit. If it's kind of like a battle, other things are implicit. A lot of spirituality is fiddling with that. Long game is a different dimension. Less your relationship with mystery, more your relationship with time and story. Each one of us has a story, a life script about where they came from, where they're going, what's going on now, and that's all done in the idiom of narrative and story. It happens now, but from now, we've got the long game of the future we could talk about, but you can't put in your hand, and the long game of the past that we can talk about that you can't put in your hand. But there's more than that going on with you if you really look. There's also your relationship with stuff. There's the chairs, the gadgets, the trees. What's your relationship with the material world? That's mid-game, so that's what everyone calls the real world. Stuff you can bump into, the world of science, the world of physics, the world of stuff. Everything that you can examine and bang into, mid-game. Feels like the outer world. So now if you look at, if you start looking around at mid-game, you'll notice, oh God, mid-game's full of environments. And within those environments are these systems that seem to work together, made of these kind of component gadgets of various kinds. That kind of tier from gadget to system to environment seems to surround us. But here it is to experiment and play with. But then there's more to you than that. You say, God, if I keep digging and really try to expand this map of me, there's my relationship with mystery, my relationship with time and story, my relationship with environment and material. There's also my relationship inside myself that nobody else can see. My relationship with my physical body, my relationship with my thoughts in my head, my relationship with my emotions, my non-linguistic impulses and sensations. All of that kind of churning within everybody. That's a short game, that kind of three-part body, emotion, mind, and that's your short game. So looking at all those dimensions happening simultaneously, pretend it's not just a game of life, it's four games. Simultaneously, a deep game, long game, mid game, and a short game. And they're happening everywhere all over simultaneously at once. And you're right in the middle of them. And you can look at it that way or not look at it that way. And four games is really the art of when useful, when appropriate to be able to look at what's going on, this big buzzing, buzzing confusion and see the four games of what's going on. It turns out to be really useful because suddenly options become apparent. And then that long game part of what's my role in it? How am I supposed to proceed from here? What story am I supposed to tell myself about what to do next? And then you come out on the other side of having that skill with a confidence of unclenching because whatever's in front of you, you're gonna, you can translate now. But this, this clenching of overwhelm and I don't know what's gonna hit me, but I don't know, starts to go away. And in a sense, your true self becomes a lot more free to emerge of what it really wants to do. Then you start looking around. And then you start noticing the most astonishing things. You notice everybody A has got their four games, you included. They're shifting, changing, connecting all the time. Some people have them all those kind of elegantly woven together in this kind of synergistic way. And it's like, whatever they're doing, but they're, you know, they've got their, their life and is together with their environment, with their activity. And they seem to have their four games in some kind of alignment and some people are just a mess. And you look back in your own life and you remember when yours were a mess. And once you can distinguish them in a manageable way, you can start to see some patterns that can kind of help influence the future. You can't not see things in four games. Part of the idea is to give you a lingo and a way of looking at things that's so simple and so intuitive, even if you disagree, even if you don't like it, even if you think it's ridiculous, you can't not notice it anymore. But it's one of those really nice things where awareness is kind of curative. When you really start putting the four game glasses on, you see how much the environments dictate 
people's reaction and you start to have a great compassion and sympathy for people. You know, Fortuna, luck has a big part of it. Um, so there's a big piece of compassion, I think, that comes with it when you really see like, hey, there's a lot I can control, but man, there's a lot I don't control. Once you have awareness for that, every situation changes because you then start to take on more responsibility for what goes on in that situation because you are probably the only one who can see all of that or, and who cares to, and who cares to take on a role in relation to it or not. Four games is for people who want to navigate their life a little more creatively, a little more autonomously, a little more generatively. A lot of us have come to the same sense of there's something multidimensional and mysterious going on and I have some kind of influence but not total control and you just want to help get a, start to get a handle on it. I think 4Game is a great tool for that.